Welcome to the Things to Live For podcast. Here's Rick. Hi. Welcome to the program that focuses on the little things that bring us joy. Things to live for. Yes, we're back. My sister's wedding was such a great occasion, so much so that I almost completely lost my voice. Now that all of our visitors have returned home, we're back to our routine. You know, almost losing my voice was a product of not just too much talking and laughing, but I was so active and lacking sleep that it was fighting off sickness for the past two to three weeks. When that happens, you really remember to appreciate the times when you're well. Anyone who's ever been sick or has recovered from a major surgery knows exactly what I'm talking about. Even just a lingering bad cold or a stubborn sore throat will make you wish that your body were just back to being normal. When you're well, you can do so much. You can go nuts with your exercise routine or even do just typical physical activities like cleaning the house or going out to do groceries. When you're not 100%, you're stuck at home and you're forced to stay put. Yep, you need to experience being sick before you can appreciate being healthy. If you're well right now, or even just close to it, do yourself a favor, take advantage of it, and get moving. Later on, you'll appreciate that you did. Thank you for joining us on the Things to Live For podcast. Are you in crisis? Or do you know anyone who might be? You are not alone, and help is available. If you're located in the U.S., visit suicidepreventionlifeline.org. If you're outside the U.S., visit iasp.info. Again, that's suicidepreventionlifeline.org in the U.S. or iasp.info if you're outside the U.S. Help is just a click away. This is Rick. We truly wish you a blessed day. For more of the Things to Live For podcast, visit thingstolivefor.com. That's things, the number two, livefor.com.